Hi everybody, another evening vloggy here. Busy day, uh, working out in the sun. I actually don't have that bad of a sunburn, but uh, I'm all dirty, that's why I'm in my little house robe, because I'm about to take a shower to wash all the grass. It's really funny, I, I um, did uh, lawn mowing today, which I was actually supposed to do at home, <laughs> but I guess I'll get to that tomorrow. But yesterday, it was so awesome, I went to the library and I took some things back and I picked up something. There's a Werner Herzog documentary called Into the Abyss. And I really wish I would have caught his Cave of Forgotten Dreams at the theater because it was in 3D. Um, to Specifically to demonstrate how these cave paintings are made to look like an actual uh, animal and stuff. So... Uh, you know, maybe maybe it'll come out on DVD, 3D someday, and somebody will let me watch it. But Into the Abyss, so Alicia won, and I'm like, all right, cool. So I I put it on reserve at the library, and I'm thinking Into the Abyss. Oh, cool, yeah. It's like James Cameron did the the you know undersea kind of documentary. So I thought it was Werner Herzog's undersea documentary. So when I told her I'd pick, I was going to pick it up. Um, I was like, yeah, and it's going to look great on this TV, because our TV's, you know, nice size and has good color and everything, it's real crisp, and I was like, yeah, that movie's going to look really good on the this TV, and she's like, yeah, uh, okay. Um, Werner Herzog's End of the Abyss is about uh, the death sentence and people on death row, <coughs> so, you know, I'm sure it's shot beautifully, but it's not the kind of movie that... Um, is lauded on its merits of visuals, I would expect. Uh, so that's kind of funny. Speaking of my sweet honey, for VD, Valentine's, or actually it was just because, but we'll go ahead and get their Valentine's style. She got me these bath fizzies. They're bath bombs. Because as any of you that knows me well, at least a little, knows that I love to take baths. So last night I used one and, oh my god, I think it was like mango honeysuckle or something. But it's a, it's a fizzy bomb, it's, you know, like Alka-Seltzer in the tub. Um, featuring pink grapefruit ye and yellow rose with therapeutic soaking salts and almond oil. And my god, it was heavenly. And I know it's not very tough or manly to love... Uh, girly bath stuff, but once again, any of you that know me very well know I don't care about that stuff. Yeah, so uh, last night we got to do a, a movie. We went on a little date, and it was very fun. Um, shoot, did I already talk about that? Yeah, I think I did. Oops. <laughs> okay, anyway. Anyway. Did I tell you guys I'm thinking about making a button of that? Like my little face with the words... Anyway, God, I'm going to have to go back after this and watch the last two days to see what kind of repeats. Not bad, though. March. And I'm just now wondering, did I already tell that story? I can't imagine what it's going to be like when I get to July. I've, I've downloaded so many um, stories from the past. <laughs> Funny, okay? Just really, really funny. So tonight I'm working on uh, some homework. I'm going to be working on some uh, COM 100W homework, some art history homework. Oh, and my uh, COM 144 homework, which my sweet honey Alicia, I did an interview. That's part of the class. We interview someone who we would like to do their job. And I had a hard time finding anybody, so I just picked someone that I liked how they did their job and... I wouldn't kill myself if I had their job. Uh, and that's my instructor, Ryan, at the Foundry. And he gives great interview. Very thoughtful. But I mentioned that before. Oh, boy, here we go. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm doing homework based on that uh, as it relates to organizational communication. So I hope you guys like the books behind me because I certainly do. Makes it look exciting. And the kitty, the kitty thing in the window, look. Uh-oh, it fell down. And now it's, it's, it's in that chair. Uh-oh. So I'm going to have to fix that today. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow.